said that this is going to be 2 epsilon xy, and that is alpha plus beta. I think I think last time I mistakenly wrote minus beta. Clearly, that's alpha plus beta, where uh, alpha is this angle and beta is this angle. Right? Okay. So then, the tangent of alpha, right, and the tangent is opposite over adjacent, right? So, opposite over adjacent. That is. Partial ui, partial x, <coughs> dx over dx. Oops. <coughs> Plus partial ux, partial x. Dx. That's equal to partial u y, partial x, one plus partial u x, partial x. Okay. And you had a question of why this is partial u y, partial x dx. Okay. So I thought about how to explain that, and I think the best thing to do is just think about a. Think about a line segment. So if this is a line segment here, and this is a point x0, y0, and this is a point x1, y1, this line has some slope, right? So what's the slope of the line? Slope of the line is y1 minus y0 over x1 minus x0, right? And you might write that as like change in y over change in x, okay? And sort of in the limit as delta x and delta y are small, right? In the infinitesimal limit, then you can approximate that. So in the limit, delta x goes to 0, then this is partial y, partial x. Right? And so then if we just write down the equation of the line, right, so the equation of the line would be y1 minus y0 equals to m x1 <coughs> minus x0. Well, in, in our example, uh, in our example, right, this, this point here, is um, uy. Right? So, and this point here th are both uy, and this is what we're looking for. Right? Right? So y1, in our example, y1 would be uh, uy plus whatever that thing is we're looking for. Right? That's y1 minus y at 0, which is u at y. Right? So those things cancel. So we're just left with whatever we're looking for is equal to the slope, m. Let's use partial y, partial x. Or I'm sorry, in this case, in our example, this would be partial uy. Right? And then x1 minus x0 is this distance, right? Which in our example is dx. Okay, is that clear? So that's where that comes from. That's that's what that distance there is. Okay. So back here. All right. So then for small. Displacement gradients. Partial u x, partial x is going to be much less than one, right? 
So then in the denominator here, we have 1 plus something that's much, much less than 1. That's approximately 1. And so then uh, also for small alpha, then the tangent of alpha <coughs> is approximately alpha. So then our equation becomes, so the, since the tangent of alpha is approximately alpha, that's just alpha equals partial uy, partial x over 1 under those two assumptions, right? So then alpha equals partial uy, partial x, okay? And we can make the same ar arguments for beta, and you'd get that partial uh, ux, partial y, and then combining those two, then you get 2 epsilon xy is equal to partial ux partial y plus partial uy partial x. Okay? So apologies for the confusion last time.